Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to sign out of your Apple ID and or iCloud account on your iPod Touch. The first step is you want to open up settings and then you're going to see your name at the top, just tap into your name. And then you're going to see here, find my, you're going to tap into find my and then find my iPod, tap into this one. And then you just want to make sure that if this toggles on, you turn it off. You'll be asked to enter in the password to your uh, iCloud account, just enter that one in. If you don't know it, you can always reset your password with iforgot.apple.com. I'll leave that in the description. If you are unable to get the password for your iCloud account, I'll cover the steps you can take in a little bit. But once you have found my iPod signed out, the next step is you want to go back to this page right here. You're going to scroll down to the very bottom and you're going to see this one, sign out. Tap into sign out here and then you're going to see keep a copy of your data and you can select whether or not this uh these data is kept and you're going to tap into sign out and then you're going to see this message here are you sure you just want to tap on the sign out here and once that's done just like that your iCloud account will be signed out however if you're watching this video and you don't know the passwords to your uh apple id or your iCloud account what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go into google search up contact apple support call apple up and say that you have forgotten the, uh, the password to your Apple ID and you're unable to access it. And what they will do is as long as you have the original proof of purchase for your iPod Touch, they will remotely remove the iCloud account from your iPod Touch. So as long as you have the original proof of purchase, this is a uh, be it an invoice or a receipt which proves that you bought the iPod Touch, they will remove it from it, uh, your account. Now keep in mind that they won't do this if you bought the Apple Touch from eBay. It's only if you bought it from like Amazon or the Apple Store or something like that. So if you bought it refurbished or new from you know the Apple Store, stuff like that, they will be able to remove the account. Uh, if, if you bought from a carrier as well, same uh, deal. However, if you bought from eBay, stuff like that, they will not remove the account. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. Now, if you just want to uh, sign out of the App Store but stay signed into iCloud, you can also open up the App Store here. And then at the top right, just tap into your uh, uh, username. And if you are signed into the Apple Store, you can just uh, scroll down and there'll be a sign up button and you can sign out from here directly as well. So hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.